Red Line is, we're talking about mostly about the prostitutes. There are also strippers, so there's also other sex workers, but uh, usually when most of the talks is usually about uh, the prostitutes anyway. So I always use the word prostitute to differentiate which ones we're talking about. It also makes it a little bit easier. Good question, by the way. Yeah. Um, well, uh, even the, the, even this question, uh, even uh, we haven't a lot even from Dutch people, so that's not, uh, that's not so weird. Uh, but guys, you can ask me whatever you guys want to know. Uh, feel free to ask. It's the good thing about the Dutch Dutch are very open, very direct about stuff. Some people say we are rude, we say we're not. We just being fully honest, but that's all part of the Dutch culture. So, um, uh, uh, guys, I'm just curious for a second. Uh, how many of you guys have already been to Amsterdam before already? I've obviously been here. Guys, how many of you have already been to the red light district already? Walk through it. Walk through, walk through it. it. Yeah. Walk through I have to come up with a more difficult question for you guys. Yeah. Uh, well, let's, uh, well, we already. Uh, have you guys been to a coffee shop already? Yes. No. No. You guys have, yes. right? Yes. And then you guys, yeah. So uh, that's what I'm, but a much more difficult question for you guys. Uh, let's be honest. How many of you have already been to one of the prostitutes here in the red light district, guys? <laughs> <laughs> The only one? Yeah. Come on, no, I don't believe this guy. We're with one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, we're exactly with seven guys. No. If, you, if you don't finish this account. Yeah, no. <laughs> they say statistically, it's, they say statistically it's one in every seven people. So every seven guys. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just. Right, I'm not in. I'm not in. I'll explain a little bit about this, guys. Uh, this was about seven years ago. Uh, at the time, I was single for about seven years, so I found after seven years of celibacy, it was kind of time for a change, right? So, uh, I wasn't looking for anything long term, I just wanted to get laid, so I thought I'll go into the red light district. Uh, I'll know what I'm uh, Sorry? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. First time that I walked into the red light district, I remember I saw the first school there standing by one of those windows. And I look at the first girl that I see there and I think, oh my god, this girl's absolutely gorgeous. And I look through the window next to her and I think, god damn it, there's another one. So what the hell am I going to do? I figured it was a better idea to first walk around a little bit, check out all the girls before I made up my mind, right? Yeah. So I walked around, guys, for about three days. <laughs> <laughs> but after three days, I found like a seriously a gorgeous woman, like a Playboy centerfold kind of girl. So I thought, what the hell, I'm gonna go inside, gonna get her on my courage. I went inside with this girl, and I'll be very honest with you guys, by the time I got inside, I got so fucking nervous that nothing worked anymore. So, uh, yeah, I said to her, I'll come back some other time. Yeah. Uh, so I went away. Uh, okay, so 50 yeah. There's no refunds, guys. So, uh, uh, I, I also said, oh, I'll come back some other time. I actually did go back to that girl. I went back immediately the next day to the same girl. And I came inside again. And uh, this time we sit down on the bed. And we started talking a little bit. And we talked a little longer and a little longer. And eventually we ended up talking until around 5 p.m. in the morning. And then all of a sudden she said to me, okay, let's go home. Wow. Uh, so like, First thing I was thinking, like, whose home are we talking about? Are we talking about my home, your home, whose home? But she started getting dressed and everything, and we went outside. And once we got outside, she grabbed my, uh, she grabbed my hand, and she took me to our apartment. And we went upstairs.